Hello, welcome my mortal friends. Today we will be making me. Oh yes, me. In this tutorial I will show you how to set me up and open tunes, ready for quick and dirty lip sync in under one hour. So let's get started, and make something drawsome. Fire up open tunes, press the brush tool, or hit B, and draw your character. To adjust the points on a line, choose the control point editor tool, or press C. Press the space bar while clicking, to move the canvas around. The iron tool is particularly useful for those extra lovely smooth lines. Now let's add some color. Press the new style button, and double click the new color, to bring up the color picker. Use the fill tool, or press F, to fill an enclosed area. If you find a line's thickness is not to your liking, first select the line with the selection tool. Then scrub up and down on the small black line, located under your shape. Make sure your paths are closed, in order for the fill tool to work correctly. To change a color, simply double click it, and play around with the slidey things. Once you've finished your drawing, it's time to separate it into different levels. Select the mouth. Then cut and paste it into the first frame of the next level. Now copy and paste the left eye to the following column. Here we will need to remove some lines. Press C, and delete what you don't want. Do the same for the right eye. Sometimes it is useful to create another point on a line. Do this by holding down control, while clicking the line. If you don't want to see some of the lines you have drawn, you can make them transparent. Color zero in each palette, is 100% transparent by default. Now we're going to name our columns, so we know what's what. Make sure your columns are switched on, or nothing will render. Now move my cloak to another column. Right click a column and choose insert. Copy the cloak from the head level and paste into the new column. Once that's done, remove the back of the cloak and place it in its own column. Close the shape and fill it. Toggle the column visibility with the RNG button, and remember to select the correct column as you're working. As you can see the head level still contains my cloak. So let's get rid of what we don't need, and finish off the neck. Remember. Press C to edit the lines, and use Ctrl click to add new points. Columns are often called levels, or layers. Click and drag on the left side of the head column, and place it in between the two cloak layers. My head is now where it should be. 
So let's name these new columns, and head over to the Animation tab. Amongst the cool stuff here, you'll find the stage schematic. This is where we connect our columns together. As you can see, everything is linked to the table. First we'll link the mouth to the head. Drag the blue dot from the mouth, to the red dot on the head. The head is now the parent of the mouth. Do this again for the rest of the little bitties. Except my clothes. They should move independent of my head. Use this technique to link all connected elements for your animations in OpenTunes. The same would go for body, arms, and legs etc. Choose the Edit tool, or press E. While in the Edit tool there are several options from up above. An important one of these is setting the center point of the column. Choose Center, and drag the marker to the base of the neck. Now select the Rotate option, and you'll see the head rotates around the new center. Undo any silly moves you made, and let's continue. It's time to add some frames. Click on the leftmost frame, and drag across the columns, until they're all selected. Then click and drag the small handle down, to repeat the selected cells. Add at least 10 frames. We currently only have one frame in the mouth column, and we want more. Select the mouth column, and then the first frame in the levels window on the right. Copy and paste, until you have 10 of them. It's also handy to add more frames to the eyes. Select the eye level, but this time, right click the first frame and select, add frames. This will add a specified number of empty frames. Do the same for the other eye. Now let's tackle the mouth shapes. We're going to use 10 of them. These ones, to be precise, from the Preston Blair Phoneme series. Select frame 1 of your mouth layer. Choose the brush tool. And now start drawing your first mouth shape. In this case the shape for the A and I. When your first shape is done, add new colors for the inside of the mouth the tongue and the teeth. It is useful to name your colors here as we will be reusing them. The default colors view is set to thumbnails, but you may find the list view more useful for this. Choose list view, and double click on the color name to rename it. Now we will move on to the second mouth shape. Double click the second frame in the mouth level, and change it to frame 2. Make sure this is selected, and start drawing the next mouth shape, which is the E. Now let's make the O shape. And we'll put the U mouth shape on frame 4. You can activate onion skinning, by dragging the red or green semicircles on either side of the frame. Preceding frames are shown as red outlines, following frames as green. Hey! 
Drag back to deactivate. Frame 5 will contain the etc mouth shape, which is used for the S and the T. Since this is similar to the E shape, we will copy this from frame 2. Select frame 2. Use the select tool and copy with Ctrl C. Select frame 5, delete its contents, and paste with Ctrl V. We can now adapt this shape accordingly. For the WQ mouth shape on frame 6, we will use onion skinning again. This time we'll set this in the frame number column like this, so we have a view of the previous mouth shape. Frame 7 will hold the MBP mouth shape. For the L shape on frame 8, let's copy the A shape and work from that. On frame 9, we'll use adapt the original mouth to make the FV shape. Finally, frame 10 is the rest position, so that stays as it is. Next we are going to clean up the head. Make sure the eyes and mouth are removed from the head column. Copy and paste the head, so the column contains 10 frames. Fill the timeline with these frame numbers, so it matches the mouth column. One at a time, 
tweak the head shapes slightly, so they match the mouth shapes. Now for some final tweaking. Alakazam. Our character is set up, ready for lip sync animation. I say. Good job my man. Thank you my dark prince. And what now? How do you go about lip syncing stuff? Well. You can do it by hand. Import your sound in a column, and manually set the mouth frames as you scrub through it. But that takes a very long time. A much easier way is to watch our next tutorial, where we show you how to do fast and free lip syncing. Here we will use the free Barricados Converter tool to import Papagayo lip sync patterns into open tunes, and save you days of work. Click below to watch my follow up tutorial. And if you press the subscribe button I will be eternally grateful. Thanks, until the next time. Bye bye. Rah.